Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Everything AI and Law podcast with Tolu Lokbe Awiyami. This is your ultimate guide to the evolving landscape of AI and its intersection with the legal world. On today's episode, we will be delving into the recent developments and news in AI. Let's get right into it. So here is an overview of what this episode is about. From the EU AI Act to the first UN resolution on AI to the lawsuits between Elon Musk and OpenAI to the pioneering LLM model for law and to huge advancements in the field of AGI. Let's get started. To the EU Act, EU AI Act. To just put it out there, if you want to know more about the details, I have a video dedicated to an in-depth overview of the provisions of the EU Act, EU AI Act, and I put the link in the description below. So let's get started. Now, the EU AI Act classifies AI by risk levels. There's the unacceptable risk, there is the high risk, there is the limited risk, and the minimal risk. So the unacceptable risk is the prohibited AI systems, such as those exploiting vulnerabilities or engaging in biometric categorization, to mention a few. And there is a, the exception, which is for specific law enforcement purposes. So if it's for law enforcement purposes, then the AI system that falls into this category is accepted or acceptable. The next is the high-risk AI systems. These are AI systems utilized in various industries and critical societal, societal areas, including machinery, law enforcement, and administration of justice. Now, to the general purpose AI, GPAI. These models are required to adhere to technical documentation and copyright laws. And additional obligations are set for systemic GPAI models. A systemic GPAI model is a model that requires a certain high level of computing power during training, specifically 10 to the power of 25 floating point operations per second. So the implementation of regulation is faced, ranging from the category of the AI system, so from six months to 36 months. And again, check the link below if you want to know an in-depth overview of this AI act. Now to the next news. The U.S. leads the first UN resolution on AI. The objectives are to ensure safety, security, and trustworthiness of the new technology to facilitate equal access to AI advancement, particularly for nations in the developing world, and to bridge the digital gap between countries and foster inclusive discussions where all stakeholders have a seat at the table. Now, the next step is following the numerous drafts, the resolution has garnered consensus support from all member states and is slated for formal consideration later this month, March 2024. The next. Now, Urban AI calls Elon Musk's lawsuit incoherent in legal finding. So last month, February 29, 2024, Elon Musk filed a lawsuit against OpenAI and its co-founders, Sam Altman and Greg Brockman. Musk alleged that they had breached the company's founding agreement, which is a commitment to keep OpenAI open-sourced and for non-profit. OpenAI responded, in a recent legal filing by strongly refuting Musk's claims, labeling them as incoherent. And they assert that there was never a founding agreement, nor any agreement at all with Musk. Just as an aside, 
Musk announced that his AI startup, XAI, will open source Grok, the company's chatbot rival to GPT, soon. All right, this is definitely a lawsuit that is gathering lots of significant interest in, well, all over, all over the world and all over industries. So looking forward to seeing what happens. Next, the next is So LM7B, a pioneering LLM for law. So it's a large language model tailored for the legal domain, and it boasts of 7 billion parameters. And it stands as the first LLM explicitly designed for comprehending and generating legal texts. So while so LM7B excels in understanding and processing legal documents, it falls short in conclusion tasks, which requires pure deductive reasoning. Now, this reasoning is the crux of the AGI. AGI is artificial general intelligence. And this is what the, the OpenAI Ch um, ChatGPT in a robot form, figure one, and Devon, which I'll talk about next. These are advancements in AGI, which are literally excelling in tasks that are germane to the human, such as reasoning and complex tasks. And this is one of the, the weak points of this LLM for law. And I see that with this advancement in AGI, definitely there will be improvement in this LLM. And more thoughts on that would come towards the end of this video. So let's get to the next one. Now, ChatGPT is now in a robot form and it's called Figure One. So if you could see the images to the left, these are screenshots that I took from the video where you, you need to check the video out. It's really impressive. So this robot can talk whilst undertaking tasks and literally it can reason and it's a huge it's a huge improvement in agi and it's coming even closer and earlier than people envisaged and as you see on the screen it's a revolutionary agi robot capable of engaging in full conversations and executing tasks seamlessly. The integration of speech-to-speech -speech reasoning and end-to-end -end neural network paves the way for unprecedented human-robot interaction. Pretty impressive. Or not, depends on what side you're on. <laughs> so Devin, the first AI software engineer, Cognition Labs introduces Devin, the world's first AGI software engineer. With advances in long-term reasoning and planning, Devin can tackle complex engineering tasks requiring thousands of decisions unassisted. Devin marks a significant milestone in AGI development. This is pretty interesting. <laughs> and so, yes, my thoughts on all of this. Well, with the, with the major and recent and speedy development of AI systems, especially artificial general intelligence systems, it's becoming inevitable to say the very least that repetitive tasks would soon be relegated to AI systems. And we as humans would take on the roles or the role of supervisors, supervising the act activities or the actions of this AI system. 
Now, to talk about the AGI, the artificial general intelligence, where robots or AI systems can reason, which used to be the divisive point between AI and human. So now, AI is being able to reason. So this, I wouldn't really say it's a, it's a cause of concern, but it would require humans to level up because if AI can reason and perform tasks that are or were germane to the human, then we need to level up. It's, it's, we have to think of a better way to do things. Because if AI can do what humans can do, then we have to level up to begin doing what we couldn't do before, at least until AI gets to that level. And then we have to level up again. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty complex. Well, and that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know your thoughts in the description, you know, in the comment section below. And subscribe, like follow, share, and stay tuned for the next episode. And so the next episode, I'll be bringing a guest, a guest expert, and I look forward to that. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.